Hey, World Serpent, what are you up to? Want to be bros? Maybe later? Sure, why not? I guess that works. <laughs> Offering. Well, that one worked. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Oh, I already checked that one out. Do that again. Actually, did I check my skills last time? Oh, that's right. I can't upgrade anything at the moment because I need stuff. Is it gained on a successful hit? Two thousand. the other one requires vitality this one doesn't require anything Cause larger explosions. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. 
Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore, but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Ooh. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Of course there's more, and you're not going to tell me until a point I forget. Gulvig, you were taken from this realm too early. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Excuse me. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. I want to do this now or later. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand.
Uh, they're so far. Fine. Let's hurry up and do this. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. And we'll pick this up later. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Maybe if you told him who he was. You were saying something about love and hate being... Intertwined, yes. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted in his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly... Despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Sweet. Here, boy. Sir. Much of my health. What the? Oh, what's up, Commander Root? Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying the stream. God, I'm gonna get whooped on this. Make sure I avoid that first blast. That's what woke me. Whoa! 
resistance to poison by 20%, stacks up to 60. Nice. Look at that, didn't lose any health this time. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this. Fragment A. have to continue searching this area then. Trust in the spirit to keep its word is foolish boy. But if there's even a chance. Don't you want to see mom again? Of course I She is gone, Atreus. You must accept oh, this. I do, but to see her again. Just one more time. Why do you believe him? You do not know him or who he was. All of this is sinister. He wants to see someone he loved again. I... I understand how that feels. I don't think there's anything sinister about it. Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. Govig's bones. What will you say to her? To Govi? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. <laughs> what would you say to me? Nothing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house, talking to the world serpent, we've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Stop being so naive. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. Being such a smart ass. King's Hollow. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. I know. We're not getting in there without a key. Well, at least I know it's here now, I guess. Until I figure out how to get a key. Should be able to get it out of the but apparently not. Oh, 
here. Doorway. Another realm tear. I don't want to see how difficult it is. At the same time, I don't want to die and have to restart. Sick. Are there going to be other enemies around here? Open the realm tear and ended up dying anyway from doing that part. Screw it, let's go. I want to see what I get for beating this part. Looks like there's some ciphers to read the name of one of the Valkyries. <laughs> and using those moves that take forever to charge. Okay, I can beat him. I can beat him. I just gotta save my rage. To a point where I'm blowing off so that I can gain some health back. Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> of course he's not. Uh, smart. I feel like I'm at a huge disadvantage right now. <laughs> but I can beat him if I stop being an idiot about getting hit. I could have used my range too. So that way I would have avoided it. I like how he can even block it. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Uh. So does that mean I can't light this one? We've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read. Sick, of course you can't read them, boy. What use are you to me? I guess I can check out the tear now because I should have auto-saved. I wonder how hard this tear is going to be. A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Instant death. Sick. Alright, definitely not doing that tear right now. how it freezes things and sticks to, but it doesn't freeze water. It's 
gonna be sweet. All right, how do I zoom? Apparently that's as close as I can get. Sucky. So how do I get around back there? I don't remember how to get there. Do I have to go to this boat dock? There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and provisions. Ah, that would be Groa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions. For it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Ruthless, barbaric, heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. Yeah, I'm good on the silence. And so much longer. Oh, there's more to that story. God, I hate it when I do that. I want to hear the stories. Freeman. <laughs> Where is that other thing? I'll hit him up in a second. Look here. Sir. Treasure map. All right. Yeah, another treasure map. jump down with this boy since Kratos did get really injured from a drop -off. As well, return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. 
I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bombs. Wow. How did I not even attempt to go down this way when I was up here the last time? Seriously? That's where it fell? <laughs> you have got to be shitting me. Thanks a lot, game. Thanks a lot. Yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. Thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor. But his judgment was swift and brutal. Boy, what a sad story. Yes. We should help him. Really? You are surprised. Well, yeah. I don't think you'd care about helping Spirit. Fighting more Hellwalkers is good experience for you. Ah. Oh. No, see, I missed my story. I see something down there. Ed. You are full of stories. When will you tell one that entertains? I beg your pardon? He just insulted you. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> so you want a court come, do you? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Grunia, the brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but... No. Grunnir, you see, was born with neither head nor heart, so the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also he had perfect sympathy. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day, found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Grunnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrunir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. Does he laugh? Oh no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrunir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock. He doesn't notice Rhaenyra's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. Stories. And apparently I have to move that somehow. Either that or the water in the lake has to be drained more for me to get down there.
two of them, and they're huge. I wonder why they aren't moving. Yeah, let's explore some more. Did he just disappear through the wall? Did anyone catch that? <laughs> Not exactly sure what just happened. Did I kill? Two chests for the price of one. That's it. Oh, I 
can't move this one from up here. Thing from there, whatever. As for this, yeah, see, I figured there's got to be something over here now that the water's drained. Takes away vitality and luck. But it gives me rage burst. It's plus four strength. Nah, not worth it. At least not right now. I guess there's no way to do it from here at the moment. question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, there was Ganungagal, the Great Void. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice, and there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water... Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Ymir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father, as if he was the creator, and not the creator's destroyer. The small, covetous tyrant. Ymir? Huh? Oh. Sorry, my boy. Ah, uh, you know, I think it best we just end it there, actually. 
interesting that he wants to end it there. Good lord, what's going on with my internet? Hopefully you guys aren't suffering anything. It looks like the stream is still going pretty well. I don't know why it's dropping for me. Cool. Cool. Maybe it's just my computer. Hopefully not, because it would suck. I don't know how I missed this running. Well, I do. Or this one. Well, I really wasn't paying attention to that. So I can't even hit it right now. Expect that dude to come from the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we there. <laughs> Are we still there? <laughs> I really need to go to Brock's shop and actually get I need to get a revival stone. I I gotta get a good one. I got this done. You okay? I just need to figure out how to heal because if I get into another fight, I'm, dead. Than usual, I'm just right? automatically dead. <laughs> So I can blow that thing off of there. Yeah. Rickety giggity goo. Oh. Oh. For 
some reason I thought that was going to give me something. I don't know why. Oh, I need to know how to get rid of that. Cool. Alright, so at least that wheel's going to move now. But it almost makes me wonder what the point of it was. Maybe to lower this. Yep, that's why. So that I can lower it and get the chest or whatever the, there is on this side. Isn't that a great raven? It is a raven. Oh, nice. Eyes. There's something down there. I still don't know what he's doing. Doc on this beach? to heal with. Cool. Damn, there's a lot of hack silver. <laughs> Throw the Leviathan axe towards any nearby targets, automatically seeking out, hitting and inflicting frost damage to any enemies caught in its path. Let me see this. Oh, sick. I could have sworn I upgraded one of these already, but for some reason it's not upgraded. <laughs> that seems so much u more useful. Save this one.
those can only be upgraded at the shop. Not enough XP. Oh wait, I had one for the shield that I didn't have. doesn't actually make a difference. <laughs> it's just a color change. Put that cool blue and gold. Oh, I still need to deliver the bones. Tell me about that giant lady with the bow. She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Thiotzi, who could take the shape of any wild creature, and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. But she spurned his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. It was put forth that the Aesir were plagued by an eagle who would steal the precious golden apples of Idun. Not even the finest archer among the gods could bring it down. Odin knew that Skadi could not resist the temptation to prove herself superior. And so she joined the hunt. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all. But her own father, poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. She was overcome with grief and shame, for there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. Skadi succumbed to her fate as winter's blanket fell, holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Well, that was sad. Aye. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid. Fight some hell! <laughs>
We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. What's up, Tony the Chain? Rise, dear Gulvik. Thanks for joining. Awaken, uh, oh, powerful right Gulvik! I'll check for you right after this cutscene. She says she'll honor our request. Empty fog now. And reunite us? In Okay, you were right. almost feel like I should pick a better one, but I really like Tears Revenge. Do I want to spend it? I don't have that much XP right now. <laughs> hey, what's up, Claymore Keeks? Claymore Kicks. Thanks for joining. It's a great game. Uh, I haven't had too much time recently, so... Well, when it came out, to be able to play it. But now I'm actually... I've got the time, so I've been trying to get through it. Which I'm really enjoying it. No, no, I'm not level 2. I'm, I'm level 4. That's what I thought I was. Or, I am level 2. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. That was my fault. I mean, I assume the way you upgrade is based on the armor and stuff you're equipping, right? I actually haven't taken too much time to upgrade my armor and equips. So. I told you so. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true as well. <laughs> but do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. So, uh, edge crest of cunning. Ooh, I don't know what that does. But cool. <laughs> Thanks, Claymore. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. 
so what exactly should I be upgrading so that he levels up? Because to be honest, I'm not really sure. Sounds like you guys know what's going on. So that'll help me. So what you yeah, so what you're equipping makes a big difference. I got Oh, well there, level three. <laughs> I did like the armor that I was wearing already, but uh, I see how it works. So the level that's on the armor and stuff is what is gonna push up your, your character level two, huh? So I do need to actually go to Brock or his brother to upgrade some stuff. This has been really useful for me, the shock arrows. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go see Brock real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, which volume do you want me to lower? behind there no earthly key nor physical force can get past the magic of that lock don't even look at it is there even anything down here that i can get i haven't been down inside seen a lock like that before. Reminds me of something I've seen Tyr sketch. He liked to combine various symbols into runes all his own. This one, I believe, means... Peace, unity, mercy, other things too. I see what he did, but how do we get inside? We have other concerns. Sure, I'll lower it now. Let me see. Maybe lower it by like five. Let me know if that's too much. Hopefully that's good. Who do you play in League? I used to play League a long time ago. Jesus, there's so much to run around on here. Okay. 
I think I raised it, but I'm not sure. No worries. No, no worries. I'm fine with lowering the volume. Is that better? If not, I can lower it some more. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of the volume levels between the, the console and my mic and when I have other things on, like when I switch through games because the volume in games seems different sometimes. Sounds good. Yeah, combat does get pretty loud. Interesting. I wonder how I get in there. Alright, let's go to Brock. Another favorite. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lawn Soother Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found him. Well, found his hand, anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now, you two want something, or you're just gonna stand there all gag scrapped and slack jawed? Jesus, Brock. What's with all the attitude? Pulled the ring off on Vari's hand at the Vellander mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? Let's, let's upgrade some stuff. Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. What you need, kid? Anything else for you? Well, that's not even an upgrade. Or level, anyway. I don't even have any smoldering ember so that I can upgrade or craft newer stuff. Is there anywhere that tells you specifically how much how much that's going to level you up? Or it's just averaging out everything you're wearing? God, I lose so much cooldown on there. K. Go scuff that up. Oh, I didn't even equipped it.
some bitch. Ah, and I didn't equip it again. <laughs> Smart. Three plus, huh? What can I get you, you little fart? I kind of want this one because I've been low health a lot. <laughs> I can't even make that because I need smoldering ember. Let me equip the other now stuff. Now what else do I... Yeah, I, have, I had before. I just I keep forgetting to buy it. This is the first time I've been back to Brock in a while. So I'm actually going to pick one up right now. Oh wow, he's only got a regular one. I definitely need to upgrade him to want to tell you. What'll it be? Spit fister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. Sometimes I wonder if it's worth spending the scales and stuff because of the fact that I wonder how if there's like a finite amount that you get in here. So you can only buy one resurrection stone at a time. I didn't realize. I didn't even think about selling my old stuff. To see you sweating the detail. Jesus, I have like no cooldown now. <laughs> Got what you wanted. <laughs> the way he talks and laughs reminds me of the guy who sells to you in Resident Evil 4. Oh, you can buy back your armor. Interesting. Kid. Why 
What's it gonna be? I think I'm good for now. Now there's something else. Apparently there was something else and he didn't really care enough about it. I guess I can go kill him real quick. Let's just go get a boat. Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. No, I actually don't. What are those specifics? Oh yeah, yeah. I have it set to. I know what you're talking about now. Performance mode, resolution mode. I thought it was something else. <laughs> Referring to like in game. Uh, yeah, I actually have it set to performance right now. Uh, the only time I play on resolution mode is when I have it connected to my 4K TV. But like when I have it connected to my monitor for streaming and stuff, then yeah, I just leave it in the the performance mode. Increases. Right, so we're gonna get up there. That ship again. Remember, I have not bumped into the new Kratos action figure. crew that's a tough crew and all his responsibility that's a lot of responsibility does it frighten you uh 
responsibility. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, I think it used to, but not as much anymore. Why is that? Well, being out here, with you, makes me feel more grown up. <laughs> Aw, he's bonding. Tears braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Oh. I haven't looked at Humble Bundle in like a couple weeks, so I actually don't know what's coming out in this month. What do they have? the one I keep forgetting that I even have this available It's already equipped with cool. Come <laughs> on. 
so helpful when you fall. Direction on I can I can take it. I can take it without it. before going back in where because I can beat this these two I can beat them without it I mean there's not much else that I can level up right now because a lot of the stuff that I I can buy or whatnot I need items to up you know craft them that I don't have like smoldering embers
Tears Braziers, a symbol of the light that binds all realms together. Why would he use those strange runes, though? Now you mention it, he wouldn't. Hmm. I've seen these runes before, but it's the kind I still can't read. Whoa. Sweet. All right, let's go and get the other hell. I don't remember warriors. Yeah. Something I already forgot the name. Wow, there was another shipwreck under the water. True, they are dead crew members, you're right. attack. Alright, well this is not what I thought it was. Apparently there's something around here. I have to figure out what that's for in a minute. Let's see what this one is. weird. I didn't even have to fight anything on that realm tear. Silver, yay! Where is the thing to blow that one up?
One captain leads so many men. He had their loyalty, so they followed. And then they all died. <laughs> he must have been a bad leader. Why do you think that? Well, he led all these men to their deaths. True. But these men chose to follow. Hmm. <laughs> Even good leaders make poor choices. The best take responsibility for them. Remember this. So I probably have to do it from down here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thanks, Kratos. I thought it would. Oh, I see. There's more area to explore. I gotta jump across. That doesn't work that way. Oh, look at that. A realm tear in the middle of the air. Either that could be very easy or very difficult. Lightning infused metal used by the kin of Thor used to upgrade pommels with shock damage effects. Ooh. The boat captain's key. Very nice. You gotta remember to upgrade him. Perk activation chance to create a frost explosion in any successful axe hit. Uh, but it's such a downgrade. Uh, 
I didn't say go down. I want to blow that up first. Curious how I get over there, though. Right now, anyway. So what you're saying is I should upgrade him right now? Even though I don't really have any upgrades available that I can get because of all the items that I need to create them. Father. Wait, you ever a leader? I... Many years ago, yes. I led men in battle. Were you a good leader? It is complicated. Did you no ever... No more questions, boy. Focus on the task at hand. Yes, sir. Still missing one. Dead freight. It's that ship over there. Oh, I gotta go from up there. I didn't realize. Sick. Now there's. There was no more quick way to get up there. I wonder how I get up there. Oh, is it right here? I didn't even think of looking. <laughs> that was my own fault. to destroy. Apparently I can't do it from there right now. I 
and there's no way down? <laughs> That'd be interesting if there was no way down. <laughs> Looks like I found it. A wolf! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Uh, you just missed me missing stuff randomly because I wasn't looking hard enough and then realizing that I had to go back up to the area I was just at where the captain's boat had crashed so that I could come over here to the Iron Cove. So, not too much. I screw up my parry. I still got caught with that. I need to go get another resurrection stone after this. I keep forgetting to stock up on them. Take him down together. What's up, CTK? Thanks for joining. Why is it not hitting that? It's like flying right through it. Let's see what we got up here. Some hack silver. Way to jump across. More hat silver. Oh, there's a rune on there, so there must be a chest. Oh, nope, it's a doorway. So, should I even move it? There's one. Oh, 
died from that. Stone. Oh, I was here before. Before I go down there. Nice. Oh, good health. I need that. Right, so where is the other one going to be at? There we go. Let's get that door open. But it's not his. This does stun and does a lot of damage. And this just does frost. Good amount of frost, though. Maybe I'll use it later. Ooh, pristine ore. Pretty close calls. I need to go buy a resurrection stone for sure. I can't get down from here. I do have to go the other way. Figures. Can't drop from there, apparently. Ship. 
hope the captain will be satisfied now. Unlikely. He was determined to put these men to rest himself. He would have never been able to. That does not matter to him. Our victory will only remind him of his failure. Then... to collect a lot more when I was younger. I haven't really collected all that much anymore. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't really collect that much anymore. <laughs> Other than video games, I guess. Over. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Hey, it's another treasure map. the spirit you need the experience I've had plenty of experience fighting these things what's the real reason mm -hmm. this man inspired loyalty he took responsibility for his mistakes and he was determined to fix them these are good lessons for you oh <laughs> yes oh <laughs> oh Here's how I get up there. It says it's locked. So that, hitting that one down there set me up for the door up there. I didn't realize that that did that. I see some nice. loot up there. Did he say he saw some loot up there? Or did I mishear him? Either way, I'm gonna go drop off this quest real quick. Ooh, what's in the park is 
here. Is that the King's Hollow where I went earlier? I don't remember. The mirror has been very quiet. My, my men. That's right. We kill. Uh. We laid them all to rest. I see. So even in death, I am a failure. But in life, you were honorable, strong-willed, and you inspired loyalty. These are good qualities, aren't they, boy? Yeah. I couldn't believe how many men followed you here. I thank you for your kind words. May your journey have a more pleasant end than mine. Favor complete. Well, you're right. You didn't seem very satisfied. I guess you never really get over losing ones you care about. <laughs> never. Apparently I can't come that way. So where am I supposed to go now? That's right. I gotta go all the way back there because I need that for the chisel. Do I even have any other side quests right now? Wait, I missed one down there? I'll come back for that. Oh, they're all locked. Whatever. So low one. And I forgot to buy a resurrection stone, and I'm gonna regret it later. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Hrimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Uh, I actually don't know. I'd have to go back to check. Oh, you fell in a village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. I guess I can go back and check. And certainly know how to get around. I know I've been up on a mountain for a while now, but since when do the dead not stay dead? A little resurrection among friends is one thing. 
I can hardly complain. But it's as if hell itself is shambling into Midgard. Freya said the world was out of balance. That somebody meddled with forces. Oh, that's plain to see. And Odin is the king of meddlers. But I shudder to think what he did to cause this. And perhaps it involves the Valkyries. That'd be playing a dangerous game indeed. It did refill. We jump. Really? Oh dear. See, why couldn't he do this in other places? Bad idea! <laughs> Wait, what? I died from that? I died? We jump. Really? Oh dear. I guess I'm not prepared for that yet. Like, I don't have the tools necessary for it. Yeah, his health did refill, though. Hey, Brock. See, you boys ran afoul of some travelers. Or them travelers ran afoul of you, more like. Who are they? What do they want? Dunno. Oh, you ask a lot of questions. <laughs> What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going. Still can't build any of it. belt I can but <laughs> it's about even and it just uses the grizzly trophy but that doesn't seem like it's useful for me right now I don't even have eternal frost should I upgrade Fix whatever you let my brother do to it. Well, there's some upgrade to that. What can I get you, you little fart? I need everything you shoot, am I right? Wait, at least I get new skills for him. What more you need? Alright, I don't have enough now. Right, lots of luck. GG. Oh, I just realized I needed a resurrection right, stone. You break? Yeah, I can't get one. Moving on then. No, I can't even go anywhere. I have to let the man to get back here again. Yeah. Why? What's up? What's that down there? Should I go back and talk to him again?
find out what free gets me. Oh. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Oh, almost forgot. Brock, this is our new friend Mimir. We've, We've met. met. Oh, why didn't you say so? He, he knows, knows why. why. I, I know, know why. why. You know you why. Know why. Quiet. No more of this. <laughs> You know what? Sorry about it up. Can't you and Sindri just patch things up? Whatever happened couldn't be all that bad. You're family. Now don't be lecturing me about family. I ain't the one what forgot what her name stood for. What we made, the weapons we made were legendary across nine realms for more years than I can count. You just don't throw that away on account of one bad... One bad what? You want bad nothing. Ain't you got somewhere to be? <laughs> be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual compliment of dead assholes lately. You've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. <laughs> Thought so. Brock, what do you know about the serpent in the lake? I know he's too damn big. Uh, all right. Apparently, there was a lot of banter left to that. Yeah, some pretty good stuff in there. I forgot I have those realm tears that I, I can do. I didn't get that barrel. Whack. Let's see what's in store for us around here.
jujitsu. Oh, I keep forgetting I actually have to attack him. We seek a chisel. The tip of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Magically sealed, I'm afraid. I wonder at what point I actually unlock those. That big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. To just get the chest oh, on the other side. Lad. Thanks. His idea. Thamur was a frost Whoa. giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. Huh. Sick. I forgot I had that one. Oh, look at there's number seven. We'll need something to get through this one. Oh, I guess it doesn't count as that. I guess I gotta turn off the mic, guys. Uh, t the TV's on in the background. Uh, I'll still be streaming for a little bit until I get off. But don't miss my voice too much. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Hostiles up ahead. Just give the word. Oh! <laughs> 
What does it say? To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here.
betray us to me.
How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. Well, this should be entertaining. Boy. Right. <laughs> Wow, that was uh, something, that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come 
Come on, then. <clears throat> So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Alright guys, uh, I gotta take a break, I'm gonna eat, I gotta go run some errands, uh, but I sh I'll probably be on later again. Uh, thanks everyone who tuned in, thanks Tony for hanging out with me, it's good talking with you, thanks for the tips and stuff, uh, definitely learned some things. Thanks Timothy for following my page at Wonderful World of Waggles on Facebook, much appreciated. Thanks everybody that tuned in on Mob Crush and Twitch. I hope I catch everyone later tonight when I'm on again. Alright guys, thank you for watching God of War on the wonderful world of Waggles. Later. <laughs>